All right, hello, I'm YouTube. My name is Wildboy Fast Six Nine. I welcome back to another video. Sorry that I've not made a video. Probably about ten or eleven days. About been two weeks, and I've been working. Same excuse every time. Working. That's all I do. Work. Go home. Sleep. Home. Sleep. All that shit. But anyway, I wanted to talk about this. Well, anyway, it's another manga, book, DVD, Blu-ray update, and all that. Um, but I've been working a lot of hours. A lot. I had thirty-five last week, and this week I got about thirty. Eight hours. All I got. I'm off today and tomorrow, Monday, Tuesday, and I work for six days straight from like eight, eight hour days for like six days. So, thumbs up for that. Kill me. But anyway, um, I just want to do a quick little video just to show you guys what some stuff I got in the last couple of days. I went. I've ordered some stuff from Barnes and Noble because we don't got one in the area I live in. Uh, you have to go up to Northwest Arkansas. Then I got a couple of stuff from Vintage Stock, and I got some stuff from the Nostalgia Critic Channel Awesome Store online because they said that they found some stuff and once that shit's gone that's gone for good so get them all you can and i got this new shirt as well which i'll show off in the minute so i meant to do a vlog this morning when i went down and took my field box but i was not feeling it i was not in a too good of a mood this morning because i tend to have the bad habit of waking up every morning with some uh emails messages from work of somebody about bitching about something because they forgot a speck of dirt on the ground but enough of that um but uh i just want to show you guys what i got uh, not too many much stuff. I got four, three DVDs, and I'm just dropping my shit everywhere. And I got books and manga and all that good jazz. But uh, yeah, you can't see me. Probably can't hear me either. But anyway, I wanted to show the shirt that I got. It's a high school DXD another shirt. Uh, Riz Gurry and Akino. And you best and it's censored all the stuff. You got their t uh, boobs hanging up together. And you best bet. I have wore this shirt out the poly. I have did a couple of times. Nobody said a damn thing about it. I'm debating if I want to wear this to a Buck Cherry concert. This, I've got Buck Cherry concerts to give VIP tickets. Bear with me again. I'm giving them a second chances. I'm all about second chances. And then I'm probably gonna wear a Riz, I'm probably gonna wear these nice ass Ria's Groovy shoes that I have to concerts as well because they cost me a hundred dollars and I want to make them last. So they're comfy shoes and all that too, better than the Converse. But anyway, like I said, I got that shirt, rocking it, fits comfy and all that. So I got an Akino shirt, I got a Riaz Groomery shirt, and all that too. So anyway, let's jump right into it, the stuff. First step I want to show you is this. Um, now oh, let me show these right away. Now well, I'll show this one first. I came across this anime that I looked interesting at Vintage Stock the other day. It is another... Uh, Anime from Funimation or Crunchyroll, whatever they call now. Some people call them Crunchyroll. Some people call them Funimation. I don't know. I think they're called Crunchyroll for now on. Now, this one's interest looks interesting, and it's called uh, The Testament of Sister New Devil. And um, this is the first and second season. There's about um, 600 minutes long, so... I don't know, uh, I know that Kira Berklin's in this, and she's an anime voice actress. She plays Lola in the Honey Pop franchise and a couple of animations as well. She was at, she was supposed to attend the Arkansas Comic Con in Little Rock, along with um, the same Comic Con that year with Charles Martinet, Tara Strong, Kevin Conroy, and Tom Kenny and all that. She and Kevin Conroy uh, weren't able to go. I don't know the reason for Kira Berkeley why she did not schedule but my best bet for Kevin Conroy because the Comic Con was in September of twenty twenty two and he was unable to attend and then two months after the convention he passed away. I think it had to do with some my is cancer. That's what I'm pretty sure I don't know if it was cancer or something, but I knew he was I uh, I didn't even know about it until the day he died or post because I was at I eating lunch right before I worked and like something popped up on my feet and said Kevin Conroy was that my first of all I was like, he better not die and I Opened it to Kevin Conroy, Batman passed away. I'm like, shit. And so, yeah, Kevin Conroy is no longer with us. May he rest in peace. Uh, he was supposed to attend the Arkansas Comic Con in Little Rock in September. He wasn't able to attend. He made his last tweet on Halloween of 2022, and then like a week later, he passed away. So it really sucks. But anyway, this got Kira Berkland in it. The only extra I know, I think they have the same actresses, voice actors and actor, actresses and the Funimation and country role with the same stuff. Because it looks, it looks like it, so very interesting so that's the testament of the sister new devil let me show you this i will say that funimation dvds always have some interesting clip covers you got this one this two this three and all that so i don't know any of these characters i don't know any of this i'm trying to get into anime uh i'm I have a soft spot oh not a soft spot i'm trying to anime that i want to watch is the funimation so jessica that's the 
high school exd and my hero academia and all that good shit but anyway that's the testament of the sister new devil and then um yeah so that's that next up we got three dvds i can't remember if i showed these in the last dvd uh, uh dvd update but i'm doing just about the same set i got nostalgia critic dvd uh, the Awesome Inc., which has got newer up DVDs and all that as well. A newer DVD and all that. It's got the Review of the Living Dead, 12 Years of Whatever, and uh, Tamara Chambers Audition, and Reenactments of Face Off and Demo Reel and all that. This one's an older one, and this is the Nostalgia Critic Reloaded DVD. This one's got a lot of behind the scenes and special features of behind the scenes of like Kikassia, Siberian Nights, The Bowling Thieves, which a lot of people do not like those anniversary movies. But when speaking of that, I got kick ass to you, just for the heck of it. Now, back in 2018, there was a docu uh, document, Google Docs thing released called the Not So Awesome Document. Now, I've heard bits and pieces. I've heard multiple stories about it. I don't know too much detail. Uh, apparently, there is some uh, sketchy stuff behind the scenes off camera with, uh, I don't know what Doug Walk or him to begin with. I don't know what them or I think most of it has to come around the CEO of what's his name Mike Bouchard or whatever not uh, apparently he said that he's sexist he was dickheads to women and all that and he would fire people on the spot or they mouthed off to him so I don't know the whole story um Doug Walker did something on an interview saying the problem was they got way too big they had way too many people on there and I think they said after the Kobe came back and when they went back into the studio they try to do more stuff and all they try to get better stuff and all that so I, I don't know much about it, but I think it's not all Doug Walker's fault because I, I mean, I, I am a fan of Doug Walker. I do like Doug Walker. I do like Nostalgia Critic. I've always have. I like Doug Walker because I've always thought, even though he plays a, a asshole character with Nostalgia Critic, which I like, uh, he does seem like a really nice chilled and laid back guy, especially when I booked, when I made that cameo video a while, asked, when I requested that cameo video a while back when he does cameo and all the money. He said in the video that, all the cameos he gets never goes to money for him. It goes to any type of charity, and they change out the charity every month. So that's really, really cool for that. And, you know, it's only 50 bucks to do it, so really, really cool. But, yeah, I got kick ass. Yeah, the awesome DVD, and we loaded. So very interesting stuff. Uh, I watched a little bit of kick ass. Yeah, I know the uh, uh, kick ass is about an hour and a half. Suburban is about two hours, and Tiboli three Flea is three hours and about three and a half hours, so... Yeah, uh, Suburbia Nice is out on DVD, is sold out on DVD, so I may get to Bully Fleet, I don't know. Uh, but I got a couple of Angry Video Game Nerds DVDs that I probably need to show off. But yeah, those are my Doug Walker and stuff, Channel Awesome DVDs. It says, yeah, Channel Awesome, Channel Awesome, and the Star Critic and all that. So, those are my DVDs. Last but not least, I got more High School DXD stuff. I got Volume 7 of the manga. I got Volume 8 of the manga. And I got light novel four, five, and six. Now I bought, I got four, I got five and six along with volume number eight today. And I got volume seven in book four last week. I ordered the first six mangas from Books a Million a while back. And I tried doing it again through Books A Million, and they messed up my order. I ended up canceling because I waited for like five days when they shipped it out. They never did, so I canceled the order. And it took like a week after that to put the money back into my card. And I'm like, okay, yo, tell me it's have to be done. Uh, my money's not back into this account after I canceled the order. And I still haven't got my shit, my books yet. So either give me my reef money back or give me the my stuff I bought for. I ended up getting the money back, so I'm like, well, where else can I buy it? And I remembered, Barnes & Noble. Don't have a Barnes & Noble over here, but I'm sure they'll ship to here. Sure enough, all the other books besides the first six manga volumes, I've got from Barnes & Noble. Barnes & Noble's, like, I, I, there's not, I've never been to a Barnes & Noble's before, but, um, uh, but yeah, I need to go to one. I signed up with a rewards account and all that, and they got a good deal where if you spend over $40, you get free shipping, so, and these books are pretty cheap, too, so you can get a lot of good stuff with that. So, like I said, not much to show. I'm going to show off the first two, uh, seven, eight mangas. I may have to show off the collection once I collect it all. This is Gasper, by the way. He's a boy. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Learn that the hard way. Well, I didn't. I watched the show. And apparently, he's just like, oh, he, she's adorable. She's a, he, she's a dude. But that's only okay. I don't mind. I don't mind it at all. And that's Rish. And you got the manga. I'm only into season. I'm only, I don't know how far I'm in the books. 
But I am done with season two of High School DxC. I don't know when see when I get ready to watch season three. I know there's a bunch of voice actor changes, like Issei's voice actor change, Akino's voice actor change, Ozzy's voice actor change. I think the only ones that stayed for the entire thing was Conoco's, Jad Saxton, and the Reyes Grimmer, Reese Jamie Marchi. So, but um, yeah. But anyway, I think that's about it. I think so. But yeah, let me show you guys these one more time. I I didn't show the black novels. These are actual novel books. Like I said, I surprisingly, not every, I think all the mangas are in English dub, but I think there's a certain, I don't think every single light novel is, um, into the English. Yeah, but these are in English and I got volume four and I got a couple of pictures and all that. So yeah. So you got Akino on there. You got this big one with Kanako and this blue guy. I can't remember her freaking name, but she was a devil, uh, part of the church and she became a devil. So I think, yeah, I don't know. I'm still new into the into the show and all that, so just bear with me. So, yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, let me show you these one more time. Volumes four or five of the light novel of High School DxD. Manga seven, volume seven and eight. Channel Awesome DVDs of the Stars of Critic Reloaded. The Awesoming, Kick Astia. And last but not least, this one of the testament of the new sister devil something. I'm sorry, it's been a hectic week. I know I'm only off today and tomorrow, so I'm gonna try to get a couple of at least another video in. I don't know what what. So just bear with me. I know after tomorrow I work six days straight for eight hours, so that's gonna be fun. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm sorry once again I try not I will try not to go that long. My birthday's coming up on the sixth. I'll be twenty four. Holy shit. But yeah. Hope oh, you guys enjoyed the video. I don't know what I'm going to do for my birthday, for 24th. I get paid on the 5th, and I'm off the set Saturday, that's Saturday because I asked off, thank God. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, rate with a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, check out my social medias down below. Thank you guys a lot for watching. As always, thank you guys a lot for watching. I'll see you all in a future video. Take it easy.